All right, all right. Sagebrush part three. You saw what happened in part two. I broke the game. Um, this is becoming a deeper mystery than one could have ever even predicted or imagined. Uh, this game is full of density and depth and perils of space, frequency, and time, geography, equilateral resistance. You never would have guessed what uh, magic would unfold or behold or un unfold. So, after getting lost in part one and break in part two, I'm back with part three immediately. Try and see if I can consistently skip outside the realm of space and time and practice speed breaking this game. But I have to start new, so let's roll the cutscene. Get it moving on. And on and on and on and on and on and on. Because this intro is a little bit uh, arduous. No, I mean, it's just long. It's, it sets the stage. But I mean, I gotta start over. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. I wish I could turn this shit off, dude. Normally, but, I avoid so this game's pretty tight. Everybody, but she struck up the conversation. Wicked controls, wicked so movement, pleasant, fast. So confident. Plenty she of opportunity to speed break. Me as a kid and we were just catching up after all these years. Um, um, interesting she told me she Resident Evil 7 D make style. She knew what that was like, she said. You noticed the, the hold, tasteful selection of I asked her what she shadowing and light, but no aliasing. Nothing. Nothing this game is anti-aliasing. Hates enough. aliasing. Cannot stand for it. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, the terrain is uh, rustic. You know, Albuquerque, New Mexico, I believe. And uh, I think it's a wonderful, I guess, murder mystery, some type, redact. Which means to retract, to take back, to withhold, to withhold. All right, Nathaniel Barons, what do you got for me, bud? So far, this is a hit, and I think I paid two dollars, and I would have paid five. I'm gonna speed. I'm gonna speed break this. This. Uh, I'm gonna speed run this world breakthrough yet. Black Sage Ranch. Um, four mages, dude. Let's go. All right, run is the R is the L2 button. Examine the trunk. Get the, uh, get this. What did he say? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, what did he say? Not gonna lie. Something like that. Not gonna lie. You're surprised it actually made it all the way here. All right. Pretty good. See, now watch, watch. See, there's a fence right here, right? There's a fence right here. You're not able to get out. But, um, what happens if you run? See? No, there's nothing but dirt roads and dust that way. You have to go inside. Oh, you can't. No, see, invisible wall. No, 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 no. No, 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 right? Invisible wall, right? No, 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 no. He keeps saying, right? No, 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 invisible wall, invisible wall. Yeah, bud, I got over right there. Literally right there, bud. I got over right there. So uh, I'm going to break this game again. All right, pretty cool. That's tight, dude. I fucking love that. I love the fact that video games are a piece of programming code, and we can break the shit out of them. Um, that's one of my absolute most favorite things to do. It's the whole idea of why games are cool. Because you're playing in a piece of software, and that's where the, the verisimilitude takes place. Um, that's where it all begins. That's where it all ends. So take that. And take that. Alright. Let's do it up. Um, I'll turn the generator on, sure. Alright, hums to life. So, I'll play it for real, and then I'll explore that, uh, that break later. Um, the gate key. Alright, here we go. Very sick. So, I like this idea of sort of knowing that... How did I do that? Alright, I went up over there. I like the idea of knowing that I'm playing in a piece of software that was created by people and yeah, stuff's gonna happen. You know, breaks of sequences are gonna happen. It's not a big deal. Um, I had that farm shed key. 
looked at all that stuff. Uh, and I just like finding you know, the edges of the programming. Because there's the theory and the idea and the concept of the game. And then there's... Yeah, it was right around here. It was right around here. Yeah, you can literally walk up right there. All right. So there's a theory and concept of what the game is supposed to be artistically. Um, open Leonard's door. I don't see how that's useful. So I got to come back here. I can't really explore that much in this, this spot. Um, doors rusted shut. I want to check and see which ones. Can I go through that tree? Yeah, blatantly. All right. But I like finding the edge of the edge of the um, game designer's concept or vision and the beginning of the code, and uh, ripping it apart. I guess that's what all those guys are doing, and gals. That's just kind of ripping them up. I think that's pretty cool. You know, outs. I like the idea of player versus game and outsmarting the, the devs and outsmarting the programming and the code and the AI and that type of stuff. Um, I like this idea of tricking the code or the AI. I think I looked at that one. Just trying to see if anything's in here. Um. Rusted shut. Rusted shut. I mean, these are fun virtual spaces to play in. Uh, and the thing is, a lot of people that don't play video games don't understand um, what we're doing is we're thinking intellectually and we're extrapolating and we're acting and deciding and interacting. And that's what's fun about a game. Um, I feel as though I'm here. It's like this is a space. I'm not literally here. It's virtual, right? The sense of immersion is that it's something happens to my avatar and my character. It's going to affect my ability to continue to play in this world. And uh, that's what becomes fun. So, like, people who don't play games look at games and they watch them the way that they would watch television or a movie. And um, whereas gamers, why spectating games is becoming cool and watching others is becoming cool and turning games into a show to be watched, not just played, is because we're participating intellectually. I'm, I'm putting myself... Uh, so a lot of doors, okay... I'm putting myself in the position of the player, and I'm reading this scenario and saying, well, what would I decide to do? How would I interact? And uh, do they try and do it or not? Or And does it work? They did something, you know, and it didn't work. Okay, a lot of doors, a lot of people's doors. They did something and it didn't work, or uh, they didn't do what I said and they lost, or they did what I said and it worked or not. And it's like you can, you can kind of extrapolate what you would do in that scenario. You can play and simulate playing um, kind of from a safe distance, spectating them. I, I really think, yeah, spectating games is the next thing. I mean, it's already the thing we've been doing it since the 2000s, recording uh, user-generated content media, digitally transmitting it simultaneously, wirelessly, you know, ubiquitously online. It's the fucking bomb. You know, turn an idea into an audio-video file to disseminate information. Uh, packaged and parceled in an expression of thought. It's a new millennium. So Black Sage Ranch. And uh, so a lot of these trailers need people's keys. Oh, I could get the map in there. And the generator, I guess this room had nothing. I wasn't really able to go. I keep waiting for a horrible jump scare, but I don't think there's combat or fighting. So it's not a big deal. Use the generator key. Well, the farm key. And that's locked. Okay. Maybe I should go back and get the map. So the farm. This chapel seems pretty interesting. Let me go grab the map. This is a this is a first real, real run of what the game is. Oh, look at the farm. So I like this already. It's very cool. Like I said, very verisimilitudinal. It allows me to... to be here. It, I like being in this space. I like looking around. I like how fast it is to run. It's the chapel on the hill. Are these coffins? Examine home plate. So it's a baseball mound. The farm. Okay, the farm. Do you see movement over there? I do. I clearly see something moving around. That I don't like. All right, I want to get the map. I guess it's not necessary, but I still want to get it. I guess I need to go through the gate. Can I jump over? I turned the generator on so you can hear the singing. I might want to shut that off. 
Or do I want to keep it on? It pushes me. Do I want to keep it on? This game's creepy. Um, the map is right here. To open the map, press square. Gotcha. So, I was in the... That's the door behind me. The, the mines. The cleansing room. Chapel. The school, I think, is where I am. I don't know. So, those are the trailers. No, I'm in the community hall, I think. The community hall. The school I've been to. And the rectory I can't get in. So, it's pretty... I, just, I looked at like half it already. The fire pit. I don't know. Let me see. Or actually, let me see, uh... Let me see from how far away it's gonna make the sound of closing the gate. Or closing the door. So the fire... See, look at how loud that sound effect is. Look how far away I am from the fucking door. Nathaniel, come on, bud. Uh, R1 is zoom. It doesn't show me where I am. I think somewhere around there is a baseball mine. The fire pit. Okay. Baseball mound. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Do I got to examine all of them? Second place. May as well. It's what the game is. Home base. Pitcher's mound. And that's the fire pit. I wonder if there is anything in here. Nothing, huh? I keep waiting for a jump scare. They're going to do it right at the last second. Okay. So let's wrap around. You know, if this were a vertical BR, let me rotate around. I want to go to, I want to go, uh, take a, uh, cross lateral counterclockwise semi rotation. And, uh, <laughs> vertical BR, that's going to be sick. That shit's tight. So now, maybe I can break out of this gate. Let's follow along. See, if you're actually lost, like in a corn maze, uh, when you're a kid and you're terrified, um, you hug the right wall and you follow it, and eventually eventually you'll find a way out. The reason why you don't want to do a left wall is because it'll turn inward and rotate, but the right wall is going to lead to the edge. So there's a lot of corn husks. And I wonder how much is truly in here to be found. Looking for objects to pick up. Looking for items. The corn. Kind of can go in the corn. You know, kind of can become the children. So it would be considered maybe that we are the children of the corn. Okay. I mean, I wasn't always into the kind of the downtrodden new metal, but, you know... That's a good riffs. So here we are at the outhouse. All I care about is breaking through that fence again. Yeah, I don't give a shit about the real game, dude. I like this color scheme, though. I bet you New Mexico. You will hear wolves. And you will hear coyotes. Um, and you will hear the howling of the moon. Barking at the moon. You'll hear the barking. Alright, pretty good. Like how you can hear him walking around on, on different surfaces. It makes me want to go back and just play like a, a more pleasant game. Uh, I got one locked and loaded. I got one locked and loaded. A happier game. Farm shed? Will it work? I did unlock the door. Alright. Stand back! Freeze! FBI secret agent! I'm here to rescue them all! Oh, it's not that kind of game? Okay. A gas can, watering can, bag of empty seeds, weed killer. Why does it have to be a weed killer? Why not a weed uh, pacifier? Um, and is that cereal? So they were... F what? I mean, well, maybe he just wanted a treat. Or were they feeding us food to make us die? Examine the shelf. Um, pickled, it looks disgusting. I found a key. Uh, I wonder what key. Uh, read Andrew's journal. It's too dark to read anything. Pick up the batteries. Load your batteries into a flashlight. 
Do I want to? I don't want to fucking listen to this. I'm going to be fucking honest with you. All right, fine. Let me see if I can open this and then walk out. To use the flashlight, press circle. All right, that means I'm going to go into some scary places. I can't leave! The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess uh. he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. Man, that's creepy. They've been lying to you. All of them. And I knew he was right. Man, I want to take a sh fucking photo of the fucking door. I'm gonna take a black and white photo of the outside. Pretty cool. Whatever. So flashlight circle, map X. Um You can turn the flashlight on and the door still shuts, bro. Andrew's trailer. Alright. Alright, not bad. Farmhouse key. Let me check out the farmhouse. This game's pretty good. This game's pretty good. And see, isn't it so, so I keep going back and forth. Oh, okay, I keep going back and forth. One half of me thinks, wow, this is so, isn't it so, what I just thought, isn't it so pleasant that there's no combat and you can just kind of go at your own pace and sit in this world? It is like, a, it's like, I've seen films like this where they're sort of understated and maybe a little bit suspenseful, but it's not action, it's not horror, it's not thrilling, there's no violence, there's no scares, but it's this, it's this really intense personal story of people going through trials and I wouldn't say traumas, but just just you know intense events in people's lives, and it doesn't have to be about oh somebody is attacking. It can just be you know, the 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 personal difficulty of managing something in your life. That can be interesting. Andrew's trailer or the generator key. I don't know if any of them are going to do anything. So the farmhouse key, maybe not. It could be bodies. Ooh, there's blood. Yeah, I don't see how that's useful. All right. What's up there? There's bloody writing. All right. Is that where the mass suicide was? Gross. You know, pretty morbid. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, and for mature. But, I mean, they said from the get-go, is what you're getting into. But then I think, so, okay. Wouldn't it be so... All right, so i got to go to Andrew's fucking trailer. Wouldn't, I think, wouldn't it be so sick if, you know, I had a shotgun and this were Doom or Quake? <laughs> I, I swing back and forth between, like, I just, I just want to relax. I don't want anything intense. Really, what I mean is I want something bright and light, like Vector Man. I just don't want something dark and gruesome, like Little Nightmares, macabre. Ugh. It's like, what I want is something f fun and light. It can be action-packed, intense if it's light. That's really what I want. I want brighter and lighter games, and that's why I've been playing kids' games like fucking Little Big Planet and and you know Astro's Playroom. Like it's I'm done with the doom and gloom and the dark, mature, macabre. Like, can I have some fucking fun in this world, dude? Come on, man. That's really what I think. It's not that I don't want action. It's that if it's going to be some intense, gritty, scary, dark, awful, horrible game, never mind whether or not it plays well and it's fast and responsive, can you at least make it palatable and tolerable? Like, or does it have to be so arduous? Does it have to be such a chore to try and move through? I can tell, I can feel already that I'm like shaking and rocking my L2 button left and right, horizontally, back and forth. This shit is going to break so hard. I hate the dual sense. It's a terrible controller. They need to they need to revamp it. I'm sure that they will. I'm sure that they will, but the DualShock 4 is better. Um, but that had that had what? At least one iteration, maybe two. Examine chapel lock oh it's locked. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, gotta go to the trailer. Alright, I hear something bang around inside. Alright. So so here's the thing. I like that this game doesn't have combat because the style of game would, I mean, it would not be, it would be a very shock to a system if all of a sudden they dropped you in a combat scenario. This is the type of game where it's like, it kind of does remind me of Red Dead just because it's rustic. But, um, like, think about Red Dead, you get to choose 
when you want to engage in combat, like by doing story missions or fighting, or um, um, you know, rolling up on bandits and stuff, or uh, I think I can go around this way, or you can choose just to kind of roam around and you know, wrestling. You know what I mean? I think that's pretty fun. Which one's Andrews? Fucking Andrews. Uh, shit, Julia and Brother Leonard. I think the peoples have signs. I think they have signs on them. Viola's door. It'll say. Okay. Who do I have? Andrews. Uh, open door. Rusted shut. So, yeah, imagine if there was combat. It'd be a very shock to the system. It's good that they chose not to do that. But then I think uh, a little bit of action wouldn't hurt anybody. I wouldn't mind. I don't want Doom and Gloom, but I wouldn't mind Doom and Quake. You know? Andrew's door. All right. Another tape. Can I go in, please? The flashlight. Viola's trailer. What is he writing? Read. Read. Um, talk earlier, blah, blah, blah. Can't turn on the light. Read letter. I love you, you're my brother. Um, be shown what you're talking about. Welcome you with open arms. Um, read Andrew's journal. We men must all be fools. Blessed is the Lord. Use the lamp. Use the lamp. What's this? Can't go back there. Open Andrew's door. Walk out. Then use the tape. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel. Semi speed break. Breakfast, and then we'd set off to I was hoping I would be able to walk out. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school Why is there a tape of a, of a girl in his trailer? In the evening, we would Wouldn't it be his voice? Or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? Oh, come on. I don't care. I don't care about the story. He saved me. Um, and I don't care about... ...getting trophies. So, let's just get to move on. Rusted shut. Rusted shut. I just saw Viola's. Where is she? Viola's door. Um, you unlocked it. And why would her key be in here? I'm keep waiting for a jump scare. I keep waiting for a jump scare. Um, read a note. We see you tonight. Will I see you tonight? Lesson plan. Come on. Damn it. Um, a, um, Tuesday AM, Wednesday, the word of Orile. All right. I can't believe they hid those fucking gate keys so hard. Another stupid shitty tape deck. Lillian, forgive me. Um, you're too young. You can't come here, but I'm here. Use the light switch. Thanks, bud. Um, read her diary. Um, I forgot what love felt like. I feel so blessed. Father James, a lord, sold the black market. And some creepy thing. I mean, I wonder how old they were. All right, open the door. Uh, listen to the tape. Walk out. We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. <laughs> I like that shit. It's tight. Do you know how good that feels? Breaking this shit up. Chosen. I hope you do. The feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. Let's go. Okay, right, so she got pregnant from it. All right. By my presence. And often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. Low boy. All right, say so now. But what did I get in there? Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now what the fuck do I do? What was the point of that? Cause she had no keys. 
Oh, God damn it. Whatever, I think I'm over this shit. No, I mean, just for right now, just for right now. I can't, this is the first time in probably 15 years I used a god, oh, that's not true. What year is it? When's the last time, Dark Souls 1, wiki dot. That's the last time I used a guide to look something up. You know, you know, for, for our first playthrough. After that, I was like, because it's like, cheat codes, that was out. Well, I mean, well, you, decades ago, when I was young. But guides, I realized, it's way more fun to just stumble around and try it yourself, unless you get stuck. But as far as looking up ahead of time what you're supposed to do next, I'd rather just stumble around and figure out my own way, um, as I just demonstrated for you. But um, Leonard's door, I don't have that. So I didn't get any new keys. Well, now what the fuck do I do? That's on. Did she have any keys? I'm through the roof, dude. Man, you gotta patch up your fucking game. Not really, though. There's charm. It's not bad. It's just... But see, now what do I do? I don't have any more keys, man. I still have a generator key. Um, What was with the schoolhouse? I didn't get anything there. What about Brother Leonard? What was I thinking? Andrew's door. I got the key to hers. I got the key to hers. Use the light switch. Use the light switch. And the flashlight. What is this white thing? I guess it's supposed to be a pillow. Um. Alright. So, I don't want to have to look. It, this is the first time I ever had to look up guides. Don't see how it's useful. Check the map. Check the map. Now I'm just legitimately playing it. That's not fun. Um. The rectory is locked, but I mean, maybe I can break in. Chapel and the mines are locked. What's behind the farm? No, the farm is, no. The cleansing room is what's locked, and so are the mines. And so is the chapel. I did go to all four. Fuck. Lillian, Viola, Andrew, trailer... Peyton, Leonard, Community Hall. Let me go back to the Community Hall. Let me go back to the sequence break. <laughs> um, is there any way, you know what I could, all right, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Why do I, where did I, where did I just say I wanted to go back to? Why did I legitimately say I wanted to come back here? For a legitimate reason. To uh, listen to something. Yeah, listen to this. I guess. Poking around, I got a trophy. So, That's what I want. Uh, I had just graduated from college. You know, I was a. Cast the door closing on you. That part was true. So I graduated, and I couldn't. So what have job. I said? Um, yeah, it's more fun. Jumping into games, got pretty depressed. knowing absolutely My nothing, at the time said I was holding back and took off, so that was that. And just and just learning and, and vanguarding your own way, rather than looking up a guide on how to do it. I think, because I'll learn my own way. My parents would call. Way better and way faster than I ever could reading some guide. I didn't know what I wanted because. And the other thing is, especially in a game. I would wake up and just count the when it's your first time playing, the life, whole point is you're like not going to figure out the perfect way to do it your first playthrough anyway, so you might as well just fuck it up way, and mess it up. And, uh... More than I hate these stupid tape deck things. Who cares? Yeah, you might as well just fuck it up and, uh, accept that. You know, your first character guide, roll, breakthrough is going to be whack. And, uh, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm pretty much done with this shit. I'm shocked that I had to use a guide for anything. Let's let's break this game again. How'd I do it? Yeah. 
Easy. Easy. So I don't want to go back there. I want to go this way. I want to see if I can break into the rectory. And um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I will explore over there. I fell off the edge. That's not good. You can see underneath the level in the mines. So there's an invisible wall here. There's no real point to... He thought to put an invisible wall here. There's no real point to going down, I guess, unless it'd be useful to break back in. All right, let me explore this way. All right, see, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, that's where I wanted to go legitimately, back in the school, to see if there was a, a something, a key, a code, an item, something, anything. Um, let me see if I can get in here. Did he do this, like, and he put hills and stuff. Did he do this for himself? Like, he put, like, if he needed to test something or go in the game, he decided, like, oh, yeah, I'll put a, I'll put a sequence break skip. I'll never find it. It's like, yeah, we will. It's the first thing I'm going to find. I guess I don't need to go back there. If I could get over here, that'd be great. To get in here without a key, that'd be a big skip. If it's useful for anything. If it's not, it's just a stupid bug. And now I'm back. That's no fun. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my launch point going to be? Where's my? Can I walk on the tree? Wait a minute. He's kind of got a vertical bob. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Something, anything. Use the flashlight. Use the flashlight. So you can kind of, sort of, oh, you're supposed to get around there? He didn't know that. Use the door. Use pe Oh, shit. Use padlock, huh? Circle is supposed to be back, but it's the flashlight. Wow, dude. Combination didn't do anything. Use padlock. So circle is clearly not back, dude. All right, but that's somewhere I could go. But again, where am I going to find that key? Um, where am I going to find the notes to this? So you can actually walk around there and, um, and find your way back around to the start of the game. So you can walk back in through the invisible wall. But do you know that you could go outside the boundaries of the level and fall, dude? I mean, come on. That's the real fun. That's where the real fun would begin. Maybe I'll walk up on those mountains and see if I can get around. But you can't get in that chapel. Eh, it's fine. It's like I know it's already running. So, is there a code? Because I don't have any more keys. Is there a light? I don't have any more keys. Um, kids' jackets have nothing, I don't think. Alright, I need a little more action in my life. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. See, I feel like that book has something, and I can't get to it. Did I read that already? I don't really care. It's not bad. Um, I need a code. That's the only thing I'd be able to get, is a code. 7318, I'll try that. I'm saying examine. I have a flashlight. I don't remember any other, like, letters or numbers. Yeah, Circle is not back, dude. It's the flashlight. Circle is not back once you have a flashlight. Um, I don't feel like reading that. What did I say? 7, 3, 18. Let me try. Let me try. Face through the door.
this type of uh, click em adventure. What did I say? Seven, eight, thirteen. Doesn't seem to do anything. Fuck. Hmm. Did I put it in wrong? I don't know. So that's what I would do. Look up the padlock and look up. What else would I look up? Look up the padlock. I don't know. From the start, you go and get the gate key, the generator key, the farmhouse key. There's got to be something here because I have the generator key. The farmhouse key, you get Brother Leonard and Viola. That seemed to be a dead end. And where did I pick up a flashlight? Lord knows. Let me go back to Viola. Let me go back to Viola. Because what else is there to unlock? I need keys that I haven't found. Not bad. I think I said my piece. It's pretty cool. It's interesting. But again, it's it falls victim of the developer assuming you're going to be able to think along their lines and their train of thought and like them. And if I don't or can't, then I'm kind of stuck because it's my fault. I didn't think like the developer. I don't know about that. Where are there other numbers? I Where were there other numbers that might be hinted at? There were other numbers in um, the community hall. That's about all I can think. What tape did I not listen to? Who? Brother Vance? And where was Leonard's? Or my brother Andrew? Plus Steel? Letters where I could read? I'm trying to get n hints at numbers for a code. That's about the only thing I can think. Hints at numbers for a code. Um, and then going back to... What was it called? The farm shed. It's the last thing I could think. I have some pamphlets down here. Um, and a lot of like itineraries. Bulletin board, bulletin board. Nothing. Any itinerary here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, the music notes. What about the music notes? Nah, it's letters. Not tablets or shit. The performance schedule. Anything? Trying to look for codes and numbers? To try anything at all? To try anything at all? Can't. Oh, uh, because the fucking light's not on, dude. Shut up. Um, anything at all. Any hint at all. Um, those are toilets. Let's say gross shit. That's not, that's nothing. Well, that might be it. Might be it. Any writing? Examine? Anything at all? Kitchen prayer? Nothing. All right, all right. All right. Seems to be about it. Sagebrush, this game is pretty sick. Mm, I think. I think it's a sick puzzle, uh, soft adventure game. I like the sequence breaking. And I like the puzzle finding. And I like um, harkening back to my days of looking up things to do on game FAQs. That's about it. But once I get stuck like this, that's it. Maybe you puzzle gods can figure it out.
No use. Nice popping. 